Hi everyone, so today I wanted to do a Wednesday update video because apparently Star Stable added Yorvik Gazette, which people said like a few years ago, Star Stable please add the Yorvik Gazette to the game. I'm pretty sure it's a storyline, so we're gonna see what that is. Star Stable also added a new story snack, which I don't really have fun doing. I did it last week, I think, and it was kind of, you know, not the funnest thing, but it is needed to help the tree grow, obviously. Trees take a while to grow. Apparently, a new jumping exercise is being added next week, but while we're waiting for the game to update, I thought I would mention the really, really sad, depressing news that Violet Flower Garden has passed away. We weren't friends, but she was, I feel like, a really huge impact on the Star Stable community. Like, she's a huge reason why a lot of people got into this game, and even before I had Star Stable, I watched her videos. And there was a few times where, like, I commented on her videos and she hearted my comment, and she was just really, really sweet, and she was really cool, really friendly. She always was so creative with her videos. But yeah, I hope that she really does rest in peace because she was a really sweet person. And I think it's so, so sad how short life is, honestly. But yeah, I hope her family are doing okay. If you could hear my computer fans, I deeply apologized. I burnt out my computer battery and now my computer like is not the way it used to be. I got Valentine's Day tack for my horses, of course. I want to get those roses for Valentine's Day. Where are they? Oh, okay. It's right here. This is cute. Another rider? I'm telling you, I don't do haircuts. I won't change your horse's name and I don't sell hay. I'm the press, a journalist. I think it's so cute how the horse has its own little stall. It's um too tiny for the horse, but we're going to ignore that. <laughs> You know, I don't really have fun doing these quests. I think we might just skip it, honestly, and do something else. I'm so boring. <laughs> I got this horse from the Star Stable app, and I think it's really, really cool. It's so slow, though, because I haven't been taking care of my horses, because I don't want to pay for stable care, and I also don't feel like logging on every day to take care of every single horse, because then I have to buy more hay, and that's not that much Yorvik shillings, but I'm trying to save for those roses. Oh, they added new stuff. Really? That's so cool. I think the roses are- oh, here it is. It's a pet. I don't have a saddlebag. I think I want these roses, but I might get these ones instead. I don't know. I don't do anything for Valentine's Day. I just love the decorations and how cute it is. And the weather is always so nice. Star Stable, I don't think said anything so far about adding Valentine's Day back to the game. Hopefully they do. I really hope they do. Because last year we had no Valentine's Day. Okay, Linda. Hello. Oh, we get XP though. That Vala Witch was scheming something for sure, so I don't really know. The last time I did this, something in the basement, I think, of the library opened. Mrs. Holdsworth and Beatrix are with them. I'm so confused. I forgot the storyline. Great. Tree! It's growing. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, there's a portal. Who are we missing? Anne? We're missing somebody. I really wish there was a way to catch up with the storyline if you have a bad memory. Because I am so confused. Lisa? Linda? Oh, we're missing two different people. <laughs> we're missing Anne and Alex. And Concord. And tin can. Maybe. That's insane. Companion tree sapling. 
I realized recently that Starshine is the Yorvik warm blood model. They just changed his colors. Also, this is just like a stereotype or like a trope, I guess. But I hate when stories make the witches look, I guess, ugly. Like, when will we have a game or a story that makes the witches look really nice? We literally accomplished nothing today. We need to get money for the roses, though. Yeah, I kind of want to start doing these weekly updates. I know they're, like, so boring, but that's not really my fault because the update this week was kind of short, and the update we did get, the Orvik Gazette, I didn't really vibe with it because I don't like doing quests. I don't really mind the story quests recently, though. They've been kind of fun, but I only did them because I was really, really bored. Yeah, I'm just, like, so tired of, like, making full-blown videos about, like, the game and scripting it and having to talk about the game in depth. Like, it's so, like, energy draining for, like, no reason. Like, the amount of energy I put... Like, remember how last year I made, like, a documentary about the game and then I made, like, several other videos? A lot of videos, like, podcasts and stuff about this game and, like, doing crazy, like deep dives about the game. Yeah, I could have dedicated that time to something more and more important, like saving animals <laughs> or like a passion of mine. I've noticed that like a lot of YouTubers recently that I could think of, they've been kind of like distancing themselves from the Star Stable community and I could see why. Because you can't really vibe in this community because people really want to hate on you. And, like, I know someone could say, it's what comes along with being a gamer. It really doesn't, though, because, like, I know of YouTubers who don't do games, and they don't have to deal with hate the same way that gamers do. It's, like, really, really weird. Like, when you play a game, people criticize you for literally every little thing you say and do, and if they can't find a reason to hate you, then they'll find a reason to hate you for the way you talk or the way you dress or, like, anything about you. It's really exhausting and not really worth it either. Because, like, a lot of us started making gaming videos to have fun, but then a lot of people, I think, decide to just ruin it on you because they're miserable. Which, like, if you're leaving hate comments, you're obviously miserable. But, like, you can't just assume that YouTubers will just get over it, because a lot of people have feelings, obviously. I hope that all made sense, but... Whatever. I guess that's it for now. I'll see you guys later. Bye.